we're doing is a little home repair video here. And this is basically how to fix a soft, bouncy subfloor. And what's happened is, is this corner of the house right here has become very soft. If you just do a little jiggle on the floor, this whole area bounces up and down. And I'll show you why I believe that is. You can see these knots in the crappy wood. See that knot right there? That's a serious weak spot. See this knot? It's a serious weak spot. And this is mostly in the 50s and newer houses. The older, 1920s and older, they used much, much, much better wood. This wood is just trash. Uh, so what I'm doing is I got these pier blocks and I'm just going to put another pillar. See those pillars down there? I'm going to put a couple pillars here. And these pier blocks at the time of this video, they were $7 at Lowe's. And I'm just going to push this up with a uh, bottle jack and then I'll measure it and cut two pieces of wood. Just want to preload the hell out of it and then measure it and then cut and then drop it down. So we don't want to go too far. That's probably good. Okay, now that the wood is cut, I'm using two two by sixes. We're going to coat this with motor oil to um, keep the bugs, kill the termites should they get on here. I'm going to paint this all around. Bounce up and down. Do it again. Yeah, it looks like it's bouncing. Do it harder. Looks like it's that one right there. Okay, so I got the one right there. I'm going to put the other one under this cross brace here. You can see how they have this set up. So here we go. You just want to preload the hell out of it. Try and raise it up a quarter of an inch and then measure and cut your wood and drop it down. Okay, now the same thing can be, same method can be used to level out an old house or repair stuff. But um, yeah, I'll have him jump up and down on it again and we'll see if it made the floor solid. Bounce. Yeah, there's a little bit of movement in the middle, but not much. Yeah, pretty solid now. It's solid now? Yeah. Okay, cool. This is the wood I use to go between the floor joists and the pier block. This is uh, some old, old 2x6, good wood. And you could say, well, why didn't you use pressure treated lumber? Well, the termites here are so aggressive, they'll eat, they eat pressure treated lumber. It's just got a little extra flavor they like. The motor oil, though, they can't eat that and they can't eat the old growth hard lumber.